Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Dave, and we're from the Polaris Razor Suspension Engineering Team to talk about the brand new MaxLink suspension on the Razor Pro R. I'll be talking to you through the overall dimensions of this machine. We spent a lot of time working on the ultimate package as far as length and width to accomplish our goals of vehicle nimbleness, yet straight line stability through big bumps. We really wanted to make this thing a mogul killer. And so we started with a 74 inch wide overall width and on the two seater it has a 104 and a half inch wheelbase length. The multi-pass is 133 and a half inch wheelbase. So this machine here is the Dynamics DV equipped machine. Comes with four modes, rock, comfort, track, and Baja. We feel that those, those four modes give you the, the best of all worlds for every type of terrain riding that you can do. The front suspension, it's controlled by, on this vehicle here is the the Fox Shocks X2 R Dynamics DV system. And it also comes with adjustable crossover rings and springs that have more validation than we've ever done before. The front shocks on our other models come with a Walker Evans two and a half inch size shock with adjustable crossover rings, adjustable preload, and adjustable compression damping control. Talk a little bit about the front suspension architecture. The first thing you probably notice is how the front shock is connected to the lower control arm. This was done for three big reasons. One is lighter weight. It allowed us to take all the mass of the upper control arm where typically the shock is connected to and put it down on the lower control arm. That lower control arm is already has to be strong to, to absorb all the, the rock hits and the abuse that our, our customers typically throw at it. Since we put all that weight down low too, that also helps with the vehicle center of gravity. That's the other reason we did it. It moves the whole shock down and it moves all the mass and control arms down. As you can see, our upper control arm is very simple, and very lightweight, stamped clamshell design. Lastly, by moving that shock down, we we're also able to improve our sight lines of the entire vehicle, which helps improve the whole driver's experience. We found that to be a really big deal, especially when you're in gnarly terrain or going up and down hills. Another feature you may notice is how we have the shock straddle the half shaft. By straddling the half shaft, we're able to center all the forces on that control arm, which allows for the most efficient design possible. Another cool thing we did with the suspension system is race-inspired three-piece stabilizer bars on the front and the rear. On the ends are forged aluminum arms tied together with a heat-treated steel center section. So in addition to everything Alex told you about the front suspension, we also have an all-new steering rack. Um, it features an uh, industry-first rack mount EPS, where the motor is mounted to the rack housing itself, which delivers a lower center of gravity and reduced weight of the vehicle. So here on the table, we have one of the new lower control arms, which, uh, as Alex mentioned, are uh, stand construction, uh, which lets us put the weight, weight where we want it that makes the most sense to make the most efficient arm. This arm features uh, larger suspension bushings with M14 bolts, as well as new spherical and a new larger ball joint compared to our past models. Okay, so continuing outward on the vehicle, uh, we're using a unitized wheel bearing assembly, which delivers a stiffer wheel end, improved durability, and much improved serviceability on the wheel bearings. So the, the Pro-R also features forged aluminum knuckles, both front and rear, paired with larger suspension sphericals and ball joints on both ends of the vehicle. The all-new trailing arms on the Razor Pro-R, uh, which are stamped steel construction, uh, feature some new uh, packaging integration for our MaxLink suspension. And then we have the Tolink, which we'll discuss elsewhere in this video. And the rear has a different packaging arrangement for the, the new big sphericals, as well as the new rear knuckle arrangement. To control the wheel through the 29 inches of travel, we implemented an industry-first adjustable tow link. It's probably one of the first things you can see on the rear suspension as it passes through the trailing arm and connects to the frame. This design gives us really good bump steer control through travel. The next thing you may see on the rear control arm is a race-inspired debris guard. We found through testing that it dramatically reduces the amount of rocks and debris getting into the rear wheel and causing damage. Again, same as the front, we have the three inch internal bypass Fox live valve X2 shocks coupled with our Dynamics DV system. On our other models, we have a three inch Walker Evans Velocity Series, adjustable crossover rings, adjustable preload, and adjustable compression damping. Out back, we beefed up both radius rods, made the lower one high clearance, which complements our 16 inches of ground clearance. 
All right, thanks for watching us talk about the Max Link suspension that'll give you the confidence and durability to tackle the most aggressive terrain in the Razor Pro R.